And so the video begins in South Tampa, actually right behind my apartment. Today is January 29th, 2022, making it Gasparilla Day. Gasparilla, the world's largest pirate festival. Well, thankfully we found free parking along the street here of Grand Central behind the Falk Theater, right in front of the Falk Theater, the University of Tampa, just before downtown heading this way towards Bayshore Boulevard. Yo ho ho, it's a pirate's life for this crew. Check it out, we got Brad and Amanda. We got Chris the girl, of course. We're going to Gasparilla today. Has anyone ever been to Gasparilla? Mm -mm. Nope. First time. It is my first time too. I've lived in Tampa Bay uh, in this area for 18 years, but I have never gone to the Gasparilla Festival, the world's largest pirate festival. Uh, Jose Gaspar, the legend of Jose Gaspar, this parade event that's been going on since 1904 is the celebration of that pirate who terrorized the bay. Tampa Bay was a safe haven for the pirates back in the 17 and 1800s, and this community has embraced this festival. It's actually the third largest parade in the nation, and it's our first time going today. So we thought we'd document our experience, the chaos perhaps. This is the first Gasparilla parade since um, 2020. It was canceled the last uh, last year, of course, because of the situation. But we got a group of friends together today. We're gonna go go get our pirate on. You ready? Yep, yeah, ready. Arr, yeah. Arr, yeah, arr. Arr, all right. <laughs> There's much ahead. Gasparilla, here we come. Woo! Woo. So it is just about 10 a.m. and we're beginning at Grand Central and Cedar, making our way towards Tampa Bay, heading this way. The parade, the, uh, the invasion does not start till about 11.30. And after Gasparilla, there will be so many after parties and block parties, just like this one, the Jolly Roger block party happening uh, last night and tonight. It is a party event, yes. Coffee's a party too, isn't it? It is, and I'm. You got my coffee. Thank well, you. It's the only party I'm cool enough to go to. <laughs> oh, you're cool. We don't really get crunk. We get really nerdy. We're uh, we we're gonna observe and report today. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> <laughs> and there are plenty of spots to park. It is still early. This parking lot, wide open, 20 bucks. Look at that. It's a windy day. That's why. I heard that the uh, boat parade has been rerouted. All right, now at the corner of Platt Street and Plant, the road is closed right here for pedestrians to walk towards the festival. You cannot go to, through downtown Tampa right now taking Platt Street. We're heading this way towards the water. And as we're walking down to Bayshore Boulevard, they've got the garbage trucks, the city of Tampa garbage trucks lined up because there's gonna be a lot of garbage debris in the street after this event. And right here is part of the pathway of the Gasparilla Parade. We're standing right on the Platte Street Bridge. Check it out, it's closed off. Pedestrians only, normally cars. Right here, there's the iconic shot of downtown Tampa. But yeah, not a ton of people out here already. We still got over almost two hours till the parade. But uh, it's pretty cool to be standing out here. And there are some boats out on the water right here. The Jose Gaspar, I believe I read because of the wind, will be coming up this way. And at the top of the drawbridge, we've got Bud Light Seltzer handing out party beads. Hello, you got the blue beads. beads oh, thank you. Look at that, we got, we got beads. Look at that guy. <laughs> He's He's oh, his friend is a parrot. Oh, it's a couple of parrots. His, his friend is a macaw. <laughs> Pirate merchandising, merchandising. Waving the flags. And they're getting their pirate party on right there. And we have a crew of pirates right here. I like that uh, parrot, man. That's hilarious. Arr, everyone's looking fancy. We've got about an hour until this thing starts. This is a good spot right here. We might stay in this vicinity, we'll see. We're just kind of walking around, filling it out. Looks like part of the river walk is closed right here due to the construction of the Tampa Bay Convention Center. You cannot walk all the way that way. Oh, I see some pirates over here on this boat. Oh, look, it's Jack Sparrow. <laughs> and here comes the Tiki Bar boat. Oh, I love it. I just wanna say that 
you know, Han Solo is he, a pirate yeah, as well, a he's space, a pirate. space pirate. And so, I don't yeah, think that that's on appropriate. this day it's appropriate to discriminate against space pirates as well. Right, they you know, count too. They're all pirates. There's kinds of different pirates out there. So yeah, we cannot discriminate our exactly. pirates. It's important to remember that. Or anyone. Arr! And it being the world's largest pirate festival, it is also the world's largest pirate cosplay festival. Yeah. And parrots. Yeah. And when you hear the word cosplaying, you think of Deadpool. Wandering there's, Wade Wilson there, on Instagram. There's always... <laughs> Wade Wilson. Wandering Wade Wilson. Wandering Wade Wilson. There's always a Deadpool, no matter where you go. And over here, next to uh, the Tampa General Hospital, right there by the seawall, is a, a huge party of boats right there. Those pirates are all gathered together. Now, I should probably point out that this is only the end of the festivities up here. This is where the boat comes, but Bayshore Boulevard stretches four miles to the left there. And there will be people all the way down Bayshore Boulevard. And the winds are actually not too bad, just uh, some gusts. There was a gale last night off of the um, Gulf of Mexico. As you can see, more people are filling in the area right here up next beside the convention center. We're just waiting. We got about 30 more minutes until we see some Jose Gaspar, I think. We're gonna see the ship come this way. Chris the girl is not filming the event today, but she just released a video. I did, yep. That was a cool one. I was the cameraman. You were the cameraman and I appreciate it. <laughs> yeah, so. You did an awesome job. Jack Sparrow! Captain Jack Sparrow! Yes. Oh, we've got a pirate on top of the boat there, right on the roof. He's having a good time. Don't fall. He's holding a, a beverage as well. Look at that. I'd say he's got the best seat on the house. Boat. Yeah. Oh, we got some beads right. Oh, that's uh, heads up. Right here. Right here. Make it. Oh, there he goes. Beat. I like their pirate flag. And the bridge to Harbor Island over here is covered with people, spectators for Gasparilla. Not a bad view for anyone around all the seawalls right here in this vicinity. And there's someone on top of this boat as well, but I don't think they're real. It looks like a mannequin. You can see it right behind, there he is. <laughs> oh, she is. Good eyes, I need glasses. So the police boats are out. They're kindly reminding all these boaters to move to the side. That way, Jose Gaspar, the pirate ship, can come up this way. Telling everyone to get back. And all along this condo up here, check it out. A lot of people up there. They've got a great view of the Gasparilla Festival. It's 11.39, so the ship set sail. I heard it was leaving from the port of Tampa just because of the inclement weather this morning. So it should be coming around the bend, coming around the water. We'll be able to see it right here. We got a good spot. And when Gasparilla is not happening, the Gasparilla pirate ship, the Jose Gaspar, is permanently parked right here along Bayshore Boulevard. And we missed it a couple weeks ago. Chris and I tried to go look at it as we were doing our Tampa postcard mural tour, and it was gone. But we are going to see it today, folks. We're finally going to find our ship. Finally. Finally, yep, we should be able to see it here. If we don't see it here, then there's a problem. There we is a problem. huge problem. All these people. Oh, are they gonna be mad? <laughs> yep, and the pirates keep pouring in, coming from the Hillsborough River. Well, we got front row seats here. Check it out, guys. First cast gorilla. Yeah. Although I wouldn't want to catch anything from that float. Yeah, I did. <laughs> got it. Oh, we've got cannons. What's going on? Here we get some beats. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, right here. Right here. Oh, they're bumping too. Look at that. And there's the Lost Pearl. It's a charter boat. Typically, you could get on get a board get on board and take a tour around Tampa Bay. 
You got some cool beads from the shark float. I did, no, yeah. The shark boat. And uh, it was very good that I was wearing the uh, Oh, goggles did it hit you in the goggles? It hit me right, oh. right in the face. So, wear That's, your sunglasses. And please. I should have protected you. My bad. He's getting his uh, pirate eyeliner currently. Oh, good catch. It's 12.20 and we thought we'd see uh, the Gaspar pirate ship by now, but no sign of it yet. Holy Lord Vader, father of Luke. I think we have three sails right there on the horizon. The Jose Gaspar is making its way towards us. It's coming everyone! And meanwhile, over on Bayshore Boulevard, you have the Anheuser-Busch semi-trucks going along the parade route. Oh, we've got some pirates docking right here. Throwing over the rope. The Jose Gaspar is getting closer and the folks are getting more excited. And this boat here, this ship, the Miss Christina. It's a pretty yacht, I like it. It's a good name, good name for a ship. Good name for a boat. And the invasion is underway. Check out all the boats coming along with the Jose Gaspar. The cannons are just constant. Firing constantly, look at that. Here it comes, it's getting closer. The pirates are coming. The pirates are coming. <laughs> the birds are very upset. And the Jose Gaspar has a Coast Guard uh, escort. Here they come. It's quite a parade. These cannons are really firing now. a boatload of people people as well. All the boats coming in behind. And the pirates are invading.
you know, you've seen it on video a little bit, but when yeah. you're actually here, all these people gathered around us and just watching this ship. And those cannons, man. Oh, man, the cannons constantly firing. Exciting stuff. These boats are in the way, but you can see some of the Mystic crew, that's what they're called, aboard the gas bar right there on the bow of the ship. And as the ship is docking in front of the convention center, this is what's going on over on this side. And Chris was just pointing out there's a ton of helicopters above us as well. People are getting rowdy. Making its way now. There, shoulder to shoulder on that boat. Gaspar on the stern in front of the, I was going to say tugboat, but pushboat right now. our way to Bayshore Boulevard and just uh, crossing back over the Platte Street Bridge with a ton of people right now and I'm getting Indy 500 vibes out here lots thousands of people walking side by side wow it is windy and now we're walking up Bayshore Boulevard you can make out the Jose Gaspar right up there Hey, what's up, guys? Oh, oh, look at this guy. Whoa. Hey, skeleton guy. That's so cool. And they've got food, a rapist, hot dogs, sausages. They even got a lemonade stand. I saw it back there. Little bottleneck right here. You can make out some of the bleachers in the stands across the way there. Looks like some private bleachers over here. He's got a giant pirate flag. Hey! Just waiting for the parade to come. It will be coming this way. It starts at Bay to Bay and it comes all the way up Bay Shore back to downtown. You can make out the sails of the Jose Gaspar right over there. This guy right here is very popular. Everyone's stopping him, asking to take his photo, asking to take their photos with him. And the parade doesn't actually begin until 2 p.m. And we decided to kind of stay right here on this curve. It's elevated. We were inquiring about the bleachers across there. Those are $65 a piece to sit on the bleachers and watch the parade. Oh, watch out, skeleton guy. Oh yeah, but those are 65 bucks. You all right? I think Skeleton got a little too much. He got a little too close? Just a little too close. But everyone else is kind of up here just hanging out. Arrgh. And behind those pirates right there in the center of the screen, you can still make out the Jose Gaspar. 
And we're at the corner of Bay Shore and Vern. You know what I mean, Vern? You know what I mean? This is insane. All of these people coming down right now behind us. All of them. They just keep coming. It's a constant invasion of people and craziness. And the parade hasn't even started. I don't even know what to say. Hey, there it is. Okay. Uh, oh, Spider! Yeah, thanks, man. What's your name? Spencer. Spencer, nice to meet you, man. Hey, all happy right. Happy Gasparilla. And happy Gasparilla. Hey, yeah, man. Thanks for watching. Fun. Yeah. There's pirates everywhere. There's something going on here this weekend. I don't know. Arr. Wilson? Oh, my gosh. Wilson! All right, change of plan. Chris, Brad, and Amanda decided to go back to the car because it has gotten so chaotic in here. So I am going to go along the parade route to try to get a glimpse of the floats. I will catch back up, meet back up with them later. But it, this is for? insane. I'm vlogging for the channel. Yeah. Hey, yeah. What's, what's, up, what's up, baby? baby? Tampa, Jay. Hey, I'm Tampa J. Hey, what's hey. going on? What's going on? Can I be in this? Yeah, there you go. Woo! All right, yeah. All right, now walking under the bridge that leads to Davis Island. Bottlenecks down here. Right over here is the parade roof. And the Gasparilla trash cans are out. Check it out. Making my way down Bayshore. Still no sign of the floats. They must be way down there. I'm walking down so I can get to them. There's a nice little spot right there. And right here is the parade room. Lots of people gathered around. Still no signs of a float. I'm just going to float my way down there until I start seeing the floats. And I've walked. I've walked a good distance. I've walked about 15 minutes from where I, I left off with the gang back there. Now at the corner of Bayshore and Swan. Still no signs of floats. And finally, at the corner of Bayshore and Inman Street, we have the parade. Well, I thought we were going to see flows, but I guess the motorcycles.
beautiful houses down Bayshore Boulevard. They all have front row seats to the parade. Oh, there's the sheriff of Hillsborough County. Right there. Chad Cronister, sheriff. And here comes the Hillsborough County Sheriff's Department. This house over here is all decked out. Look at that. Front yard party right here on Bayshore. They even got a pirate ship, a bounce house for the kiddos. Arr! Right over here, pirates! Oh, that's really cool. We got the Captain Jose Gasparilla drowned in battle. Looks like his tomb right there. Ladies and gentlemen, the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. Estimated 300,000 people along Bayshore Boulevard today for Gasparilla. These trash cans are filling up. I'm right here at the corner of Bayshore and Delaware. And I'm ex 
exiting the parade at Bay Shore in Delaware. Right here, gonna walk up this way, link back up with Chris, Brad, and Amanda. And I have walked up Delaware, now in the Hyde Park neighborhood, and there's a lot of folks out here just kind of gathering around, taking rest. Some of them live there, some of them don't. But these streets are busy today, especially busy for Gasparilla. All right, Brad, Amanda, and Chris, got to link back up with them. There's people in line for the potty right down there. This is pretty cool. Ooh, someone's playing ping pong. That's awesome. Now at Delaware and Inman. If I take a ride on Inman, it will actually go right back down to Bayshore. Bayshore is, sure is kind of curving all the way around us back towards downtown, but I contacted them and they're at a Starbucks currently, so I'm walking towards that Starbucks. A lot of folks walking up and down the sidewalks here in Hyde Park. A lot of beautiful uh, old bungalows too. Beautiful homes, turn of the century homes. Last century. This house right here even has their pirate cannons out. They're all decorated for Gasparilla. Check it out, the pirate cannons sticking out of the second story windows. Oh, and there's a pirate right on the porch. Arr. I had a blast out there. I just want to thank Chris, Brad, and Amanda for tagging along with me today. Thank you so much. I had a great time with you guys. It wouldn't have been the same without you. So if you guys are watching back our fun right now, thank you. And uh, thanks for the coffee. They said they uh, got me some coffee and it's waiting on me up here at Starbucks. And at Dakota and Kennedy, we have the Starbucks. My friends are in here. I made it. I made it. You made it. We thanks, knew you would. thanks for waiting, guys. Oh, you got me coffee? Coffee. All right, who bought this? Oh, Amanda. The Leslie <laughs> Cheers. Cheers. Thank you. There you go. The Mystic Crew. It was quiet. It's crazy out there. I'll tell you what, guys. It was crazy. All right, guys, we survived Gasparilla 2022. We yeah! Survived. We did it. Thanks for watching. Thanks for uh, tagging along with our experience today. If you enjoyed the video, give it a thumbs up. And if it was your first time, subscribe below. Yeah. Also, uh, check out Chris the Girl on YouTube. Hello. Brad and Amanda are do all kinds of things. Just, uh, just give a kind of rundown of all the types of uh, things that you do. We already know that you write. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so we uh, wrote the book for Sir Henry's Haunted Trail. Uh, it is an independent haunt out in Central Florida. So if you buy the book or if you attend the haunt, which they do several events per year, you're supporting a small business. Yep. Um, either way. It's a good book too. Yeah, I think, I, I think it's pretty decent. <laughs> and this guy is uh, an independent horror author himself here. That's right. Mm -hmm. Brad Acevedo on Amazon, uh, Infinite Oddball on Instagram. Find all my my uh, my books there, as well as the work I do right. for Quill and Crow Publishing House as well. Yep, we're always having a good time on social media, Twitter, right. Instagram, all of that. You can find them over there. Uh, you can actually find them through my social media outlets as well. So we're shouting those out too. But yes, again, great time with you guys today. Thank you so much uh, for uh, allowing me to go out and venture out and then catch back up with you. Gasparilla is everything I thought it was going to be and more. It is <laughs> It is a uh, an intense thing to do, but for a lot of people that is, you know, every year that is one of the biggest things to do. It's and their it, thing. It's, it's their thing. Their thing. It's their thing. And it's, it's like a, their version of Comic Con, but with way more fear. It, yeah, yeah, it's pirates. In <laughs> pirates. It's exciting, guys. So you, yeah. you can't really capture it in a video. That's one thing I kept telling myself uh, while I was out there. I'm like, there's no way you could actually kind of like capture this in a video and honestly do it justice with all the details and all the chaos that's going on. But fun. I'm going to wrap this up rambling. Thanks for watching everyone. We'll see you next time. I am Tampa J. And there is a... Uh... Much ahead? Yeah, that's it. That's there it Much is. ahead. Hey, there you go. You should, you should make that your catchphrase. I think so. I was thinking about that or there's yeah. something in the future. Always something in the future. Something, yeah. something in the future. <laughs> what you it is. I need a new the, uh... All right, that's it. We're out of here. Yeah, Let's get out of here. All right. <laughs> oh, it wasn't recording. Oh, no, was He's it? He's lying. You better be lying. Nah, the red button means it's recording.
recording. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> See, I know things. I know so many things. Because I pull crap like that all the time. That's so. a hell of a <laughs>